Hello. Welcome to my channel, Another Bibliophile Reads. My name is Greg, and here are the answers to my Two Truths and a Lie tag. I will start with number three. This is true. My wife and I did live in Virginia, and we did move to Washington State. And she flew out a month early with one cat, and then I had to organize getting the other five cats to Washington State. And I used a shipping service um, basically recommended to us by the rescue organization we worked with. And what I had to do is um, I had an afternoon flight and early in the morning, I drove the cats out, five of, four of them, to the shipping service and um, put them in their um, container, their, their cat carriers, and um, said goodbye to them. And then in the evening, I flew out on the plane with one cat. And um, the day after I got to Washington, I picked up the four cats from the airport um, receiving, whatever you, whatever you call when you pick up your special luggage, and they were all fine. But it was distressing not knowing what had happened to them while they were on the plane. Statement number two is true. The, I will not tell you who the public figure was because um, he is still on the talking head shows occasionally. Um, but I, I did take his credit card away and um, mailed it off to a bank. Uh, when you do that, you, you do give your name and address and the bank gives you um, a reward check of $50. Now this was in the old days um, when you did not have credit card machines. You had um, what they were called Zon machines and you ran the credit card through and they said approved or declined or hold. Um, his said hold, so that's why I had to take it away. And um, then you ran the credit card through those um, heavy metal slot machines of like the ratchet, ratchet, you know. Um, I think the, the young people are not going to remember those, but uh, us old bogeys will remember what those are. So statement number one is the lie. I did, in fact, try to write that novel. I got about um, 60 pages into the draft. It intended, I intended to be a full novel and only got 60 pages out of it. And it was um, a piece of crap. So I never tried to finish it or publish it. And the whole part about Amazon self-publishing, totally invented because um, so many people tried self-publishing back then. And you know, if it, were, it was a good novel, I probably would have tried it too, but it was a piece of crap. And um, it does not exist anymore. Um, when I moved back from Washington State last year, I found the old um, floppy disks with my um, earlier uh, portes into writing, and I just threw them all away. So if someone's really curious about them, there are floppy disks in a landfill in King County somewhere. Go find them. Well, thank you for watching and keep on reading.